Hi guys, welcome back to my World of the Vision video. Now I'm going to talk about the new banner which come on this week. So we don't have any new characters. And I think that's kind of annoying because they should make Keton and... Yeah, Keton and Whisper available on this week because if that's what they do, then we can get Final Fantasy Tactic characters yard easier. But let's just not talk about that. It's already happened. So now about this banner. Is it good? I must say yes, it is good. Okay, first let's talk about Odin. If you summon this, then yes, you will get Odin as per. So I must say as an Asper, Odin is one of the best Asper you can get on this game. Because like you know that most major Asper summon gives you attack and magic boost when you summon them. But for Odin, you get increased critical rate. So I find critical rate is harder to increase than attack and magic. So I think it's really good. And for the abilities Odin, he has man eater, he has slash attack, so yes, it is really good for your physical attacker who deals slash slash attack type damage. And for the element, it is kinda unique because Odin doesn't reduce your elemental resist. So most Esper reduce your element and increase certain element too. But for Odin, because he is neutral element. You, then, you don't get increase or decrease for elements. Okay, this is maybe a good thing in my opinion. And yes, the best part is not for the Esper summon, okay, but it is for his vision card. Because his vision card, like you can see here, it gives you man eater. So it will be very useful on PvP content, okay, because yeah, yes. All the characters are human, right? So this card will make you kill them faster. Okay, and for the party ability, it is also good. This will give you unit attack resist. Okay, so based on the Japan version, what I read is it is single target attack resistance. So I must say it is also pretty good. Okay, because not many characters have AOE attack. Okay, yes, mage usually have AOE attack but yes usually their spell are also single target so I believe it's also affected and if you run out of if you run out of AP then you need to attack using normal attack so did that, that way you will get benefit from this card okay so really good card I must say but remember it is you are rarity card so yes okay it is really hard to max this card and this the stats you see on the screen is the stats you get when you have max odin so good luck on that okay for mega rare rarity i must say this card is good and bad at the same time good because from what i know this is the only card that gives you 20% magic stats on your character at this point of the game, okay? Because on the future, you also get the same card, Red Checkable, which also boosts your magic attack, okay? So this is really good, but if you take a look on the party ability, I must say it is kind of bad. Aquatic Killer. So I have said that most enemies on this game are human. So, Aquatic Killer, that's super niche. Useful if you fight it, fight Aquatic Enemy, but I believe it, it will be niche. Then, I think if you search for Magic Boost card, then it's better to wait for that Red Chocobo card, which I just told you, okay? The card will appear on the second Final Fantasy Tactic banner, okay? I'm not sure when, maybe next month, maybe next two months, no, don't know. But the single unit effect is same, magic plus 20%, but for Red Chocobo, you get light attack plus, okay? It will be easier to maintain because to get benefit, it depends on you. So let's say you want to take advantage from the Red Chocobo card, you simply, to, you simply need to use all light elemental characters. But for Aquatic Killer, 
it depends on the enemy so it is not on your control okay so yes enough about this banner okay this new fusion sum card is good okay i probably gonna do summon here because like you can see whoa the animation is dope okay but be not because i want to max odin or something it's simply because yeah it is cool to have complete asper set up okay and we also get this uh, equipment training quest so it featuring yerma and ayaka so both of these characters are win element so i must say yes okay it is good especially for ayaka because from what i know in the japan she is still the best healer on the game okay so if you miss her maybe yeah you can try your luck to get her on this time and also i don't have win character element on my party so if i get her then it will be easy to max her okay but yeah lucia is win element so yes it depends on you do you need the healer then go ahead but if you don't then don't it and they also give us this free 10 times summon pool really nice so let's do the pool free pools always nice and let's see my result collect unit so it means i get new characters from this summon okay oh it's you are character whoa whoa I hope it will be Frederica, guys, because uh, not not Frederica. Ayaka is also nice. It's surprising. It's you are so maybe I won't do summon on. Oh, it's new character, so maybe it's duplicate. Oh yes, that Grace is from what I know. She is also good healer. Okay, so maybe I don't need Ayaka. Okay, bomb really nice fishing card. I like bomb and. Little Lila. Hmm. Okay, so this is also good. Fun time. Okay, nice for my future Lucia, maybe. If I manage to get her. Yeah, Horn Castle. Okay. I don't really need Azure Fisher Spear. Oh, I get this. Greetings from afar. Okay, uni, unit shard, and please, Frederica or Ayaka. Breath XPS, rainbow, what kind of... What? What? Oh, I heard, yes, some of you may say that she is not bad, but... Hmm, I lean, I lean. Yes, I don't have Earth Elemental character, so maybe he is good candidate to raise, okay, but yeah, let's just see later. Oh, I get Final Plastic Rep XPS character. So let's do one pull on each banner, okay, because they just, because I just got 2000 Fisher from 50 days login. Okay, so let's do this, Equipment Training. So please give me Ayaka. Oh no. Will it be? Oh, it's Fisher. And another rainbow. Oh. Okay. I really want Fall of Love. Really, guys, it's very hard to get that Fall of Love. Okay. Bomb again. Nice. Okay, a little Lila. Long awaited holiday. Didn't for Cathedral. Okay, only one rainbow. Yes! Yes! I have Sifa. Yes, the fishing card is also nice to give you evasion boost, so she will be useful for my shadow links, but. I don't have, I don't have that, uh, what is it, Keton. And now let's do this, okay, on the Odin banner one more time. And we gonna stop, whether we got Odin or not. But really, I really want Ayaka or 
but yes, I won't force it. What? Another UR character? And it's kinda stupid because I summon Yes! Yes! I get I get this wall of love. This is really good guys. Magic eye. Okay. Fall of love again? No. Okay. This is really lucky guys, okay? Three rainbows straight. Vow of love, please, for God's sake. No. Okay, so who gonna pop out? Okay, I will make quick work of any enemy. Oh my god. Oh my god. To be honest, I don't like her, okay? Because I plan to use Lucia later, but at the same time, I don't have win elemental unit. So, yes, maybe she can become a good candidate, but I didn't buy her shards on the past, so it will be hard. It's which, wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can buy her shards at this point, okay? So, yeah, that's enough about the pools and summon. Now, I will talk about the featured shop which appeared on this week, okay? So, we also get the really nice, uh, really nice shop shop new shop okay so first is this featured new vision card you can buy this if you manage to get odin to level to awaken your odin okay but because i don't get it then i will simply pass okay this is really important because unlike character you cannot farm this shark so if you like the vision card make sure you buy this okay for this chapter six really shop this is really good new shop okay the first thing every day always check this daily free skip ticket and buy this guys this is really nice especially all for farming on the story quest yes i say story because some story on the chapter 4 chapter 5 takes longer to farm compared to the hard quest so usually i do manual farming on hard quest and do skip ticket on story mode and make sure you buy this faint memory because you cannot have too many faint memory, okay? So yes, I have 700, same for this green. I hope in the future they will say the uh, the yellow color or purple, okay? And of course, don't miss this, okay? This is really, really rare. And I think that they are kind of unfair here because this does not... Yes, Rainbow Fusion Spear is important, but I think that this, I mean, that Rainbow Fragment of Thought is more important because your Mega Rare characters also need this material to be awakened. So yes, not only Ultra Rare characters, Mega Rare also need it. Yeah, even lower tier characters need this Rainbow Fragment of Thought. Okay, so this is bottleneck material. So every time you can see this available, make sure you get it. And this, I want to talk about this. You need awakening pack. I must say, this is cheap. But at the same time, you may don't want to buy this. Okay, to save your fissure. I, might, I say it is cheap because this will give you 50 awakening prism and if you take a look on the normal shop okay you can you can buy one fragment or awakening prism with 100 fissure price so yes this alone already really really cheap okay because this i can say this is 5000 5000 so yes this is this give you uh 10000 fissures value let me show you, okay? So, on this featured. So, like you can see here, 10 win fragment of thought for 1000 fissures. So, yes, I must say, this is really good value, okay? This unit awakening pack. Really good, but maybe I'll, I'm, I'm gonna think about this, okay? Did, do I have enough resources for the future content? Because, yes, it's good, but it's quite expensive at the same time. 
And I forgot to mention it, make sure you buy this, okay? This burst pot is very rare to drop, even on daily basis. Most of the pot even daily gives you armor potion, not the burst pot. Okay, so make sure you buy those. And I think that's it, okay, for this chapter 6 release shop. Make sure you check this every day because, yes, they refresh this daily. But of course, this one, like Rainbow Fragment, Rainbow Vision Spur, won't be refreshed. Okay, but yeah, like this, make sure you buy them every day. Don't forget. And for this featured unit shop, even you don't like the characters, don't forget to buy this memory because they are hard to farm. So, yes, buy them. Even if you don't have the characters right now, maybe on the future you will get it, okay? Like me getting Yerma suddenly. Okay, like you can see, I only have one green mage memory. And this one, also really good, okay? 50 for all. You can farm this easily, but still, buy this. It will save you lots of energies to farm those, okay? You know, awakening and like this uh, we we'll also buy it mm, and then Tanchi okay so yes they also sell Yerma and Ayaka unit chart so yes very good especially if you have both Yerma unit chart on the past you you can limit break her very fast because of this okay nice and yes don't forget this two this one. oh yes i forget to mention this on the past buy this okay five hundred thousand or awakening too mm, yes i think that's all you need to know guys if you have water characters then you may want to buy the shards, but at this point, there are no water UR characters, so water UR characters are gonna be really good when they are released later. Okay, so yes, I think that's all you need to know about this event. I hope you all get lucky on your pool. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more War of the Vision video. Bye bye, guys.